because that's how we were all raised to believe that it was anonymous. And Kathy B. knew the woman who actually wrote this poem. And her name is Mary Stevenson. So, Rose, you're going to be doing a documentary about this. In fact, you're really in uh, development for it. So would you like to share with us about the book and, and what's going on and where we can get it and all this good stuff? So tell us, yes. You never know in life what journey you're going to be on. And this is so true. Um, 40 years ago, 1979, wow. I came to California as a singer, I'm a singer-songwriter, had a group on the road, mm -hmm. and I was just going to do some recording, and I sang at a place called the Palomino in North Hollywood, wow. and Mary Stevenson was there, she heard me She was singing. in the audience? Like she was in the audience, and she oh. said, oh, I love that song, I'd like for you to come to my house for a spaghetti dinner. Oh, now, boy. Like, that might sound weird, but when you're on the road, Home-cooked oh, home food. Oh, wow. my goodness. And wow. so during my visit with Mary, and she had a lovely dinner ready, and before the dinner, you know, I was admiring poems that were on the walls, and there was a little poem about a little child abused, from the mm -hmm. point of view of a child called a little seed. And it really struck me. It struck my heart. And so she said, oh, you like that one? I've got a whole bunch more. So she ran in a room, come back with this great big box, dumped it out on the table, and I was going through her poems. Some were handwritten, some were typed, and I ran across this old handwritten Footprints in the Sand. And I had had my own copy of Footprints in the Sand that my mother gave me on a little card had Jesus on I the side. I remember I had that when I was little too. Yeah, yeah they yeah. were. And I, as a singer, and I'm from a small town. This gave my mom comfort to know that I had this poem with me that you're always carrying, that you, regardless of the situation, you can always pray and know that God's always there. So that was the premise behind this poem, and he carried me. So basically, I said, Mary, Mary, there's footprints. I was so excited. And she says, yeah, I wrote that. Mm. And I said, but you couldn't have. Because it's all for unknown. Yeah, that's and we what believe the whole that. World. That's what we heard about it. Yeah. That's what we thought. Oh, somebody wrote it and we don't know who that was. So she looked at me very, she was sad. She became very sad and very hurt and said that's why it was in that box. Oh. Because nobody believed me. My friends called me a liar. Oh. And she said that I wrote the poem. Now, did she have that professionally copyrighted? What was the... No, when she wrote it, she was 14 years old. Oh, wow. And Mary was born in 1922. So it was during the 30s, in the Depression and all of that, and her gift to the world was not only dancing, she learned how to dance at two years old, she also wrote things that people liked. And so she would write footprints they loved. So she would just write copies of it and hand it to people. Oh, wow. And the fact that when I was admiring this old copy, she says, oh, you don't want that old copy. Let me make you a fresh new one. And she sat down there, word by word, same thing.
thing I'm looking at on this paper and wrote me a fresh new handwritten copy of Footprints in the Sand mm -hmm. asked her that I would help her. I said, I'm going to help you become author no. And so this was this book. There were a lot of things we were able to make happen for Mary. And uh, good things, bad things. Because anytime you have anything that has to do with money. Because see, the poem Footprints in the Sand became worldwide known, but author unknown. So if you sat and you thought about, oh my gosh, if somebody had paid this woman for her work, look how much money she would have made. Yeah. And during an interview, I, I, I did a TV show called Touching Lives, and during an interview with Mary in Las Vegas, I asked her that question. I said, Mary, what would you have done if you had received all the money from all the footprints that you wrote, all the royalties? What would you have done with all that money? She said, I would have fed a lot of hungry people. She had a kind heart from what you told me. She was like that. So my quest is not done. Mary died in Jan it was January the 6th, But did she was well to see who wrote this book? Did not she this book. book. She oh, had her own other book, one, her, her, her book, book about yeah. her life. But she would written a book about herself. And she had another person take her manuscript and rewrite the book. Because Mary wanted to call it a name that nobody wanted to use, and it was a name she was given as a little dancer, because Mary's a white lady, and she danced with black children on the street corner who taught her how to dance. Because mm -hmm. when she was little, they were starving. There was no food. Her mother had died, her dad was a stevedore, and he would give the six kids money, the oldest one, to feed everybody, and she'd feed everybody. They'd feast for a day, and then they would starve because the money ran out. She was just when it came to some people. And that, that that's bitter. usually the case, you know. That's yeah. And I imagine she was taken there because I did read the book, and she was taken Take advantage, advantage of by people. Yes. So yes. you know, that's really always sad. Yeah, always sad. But she, the kids were close to Mary too. Everybody in my family and all my friends, they all knew who Mary Stevenson was, and we we did so many things together. Got her a book deal. Got her a QVC. Even a movie. Uh, we had an option to do a movie. From, of all people, Marla Maples Trump. Oh, and what happened with that? Well, don't <laughs> tell us about that, Kathy. She's Here's the dirt about the Trump people. <laughs> she had said that uh, Donald would help us make this movie. And she even had a person who was trying to write the script from Mary's book about Mary's life. And basically, uh, Donald said, I don't, I'm not going to waste a favor. And that was it. That was it. Because when yes. you auction something, you take it off the market. Yeah. And you have to pay for that. Yeah, they paid to take it off the market, and that squashed it. It's like some of the stories you hear now yeah. about, you know, like uh, the, the Inquirer taking, paying people to take their things off the and market, just, and yeah, then they just and that's it. dissipate. But, but that's really what's so good about that you did write the book. Hold that up again. I really want everybody, because hey, where can they get the book? Uh, it's on Amazon, okay. and it's Footsteps My Journey. And the, the way that I want to tell my story about my relationship with Mary. Because you had such Mary. a special relationship with her. Because I, I just, all I wanted to do was just sing. Yeah. And when I came to California and met Mary and then found out I was pregnant, my first husband and I had been married for five years and no kids. Mm -hmm. And honestly and truly, I was devastated because I was, I had a band on the road. So, but I didn't want to raise my kids on the road. And I knew that. But Mary really and truly helped me through all of my steps. With the book, her book, her, her book about her life was very difficult for the lady who was trying to help write it. Because Mary didn't, she wasn't used to just sitting down and telling her story. So I had to help. I helped with that book to fill in those blanks on what had happened in her life. And some of the things were left out of her book because she didn't tell that lady behind the scenes what her and I had discussed. And I wanted to share it in this book. Yeah. Well, that, that's what's amazing about it. Because as you said, you are in development. Well, you're going to do the documentary. So it's really good to get the book now and learn about it. And then I always like to have the book first. Oh, yeah. And then see like the movie and the picture attached to it. So this is, this, and it makes a wonderful gift. So you could go ahead, order the book, get the book, and really learn about it. It's very interesting. And like Kathy said, this was not an unknown person, and to really know that, it's an amazing story. So purchase the book, and I'm sure a lot of them...
the, on the back of the book, on the back of the cover, and I do have pictures, pictures in here, just like that too, but on the back of the book was the poem that kind of, because when you take on any project, you know it's going to take part in your life. Yeah. To read that? Well, I'll just tell them the last lines. Okay. Okay, because the last lines is what really went, okay, you need to do this. Because it said, now I ask you, my fellow traveler, before your life is through, what kind of footsteps will you leave for those who follow you? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Kathy, thank you so much for being here and sharing this. And everybody, please do remember to go to Amazon. And your address again is? You said? It's they, Footsteps. Footsteps and Kathy B. Journey. Oh, oh Kathy at KathyB.com. Yeah, the other one. Yeah, Kathy, Kathy B. And I'll also put the link up. I always put the link up so yeah. people will know how to get in touch with you. If you'd like more information or know how you can help with the rest of Kathy's journey, you know. And if you have a footprint story. Yes. Oh, that's very good. Yes, Kathy wants to know like your footprint for the story. documentary. And this will go into the documentary. So that's another very important facet. So thank you so much, Kathy. And thank you, everybody, for watching. And remember, we need for you to subscribe and keep coming back. And we'll see you next time. Bye.